We want to greet those of you who are watching the Perry Stone YouTube channel right now. We're coming to you from the beautiful city of Bethlehem. It's called the City of the Nativity, meaning the city of the birth of Christ. We're in a shop which is originally founded by uh, Nikki Kanawati, who is a very dear friend of ours, who's a great friend of the Trinity Broadcasting Network, and Paul Crouch as well. And uh, he's passed away and gone to be with the Lord. His son is now shop owner. But I want to show you something they're building here, which is really, really amazing. This is a wooden replica of the Ark of the Covenant. And they were showing me, when you lift this up on the inside, and I don't know if we can lift this up, Robbie. Let's just, let's just see. We'll hold the stick there. Put the rod of air in there, you might say, and just let's see if we can pull this back. And, and yes, isn't that heavy? Look, brother, you got more better arms than I do. Okay, see the wood on the inside? It's gopher wood. And if you if you know anything about gopher wood, the ark of Noah, back in the book of Genesis, God told him to build an ark out of gopher wood. It's a certain kind of wood. It's, someone said. Uh, uh, I didn't know gophers made wood. <laughs> well, it's not what it's talking about there. It's talking about a certain kind of wood. What they're doing, uh, they're taking, and I thought this was interesting here. Look at this. This See the gold there? See the gold, actual gold foil? And they're taking the gold foil and putting it over top of the entire ark. And, of course, this is how it was made. It was actually made with wood, and it was covered with gold. And this, this is the pot of manna. Look at this. This is really neat right here. See here. We've got that. And here he is. Come over here, my brother. Right here. Now, I'm hooked up with a microphone. You keep talking. This is my dear friend. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about this. What was the, motivated to be, to, the motivation to build it? And, and tell us what you're doing with this. Because this... Yeah. This is, I'm not seeing this in the shop. Yes, I've been here 38 years. That's okay, right, so. That's right. Well, you know, we wanted to do something basically that is based on the Bible, the book of Exodus 25.10. And it took us approximately one and a half years to complete the whole thing. Wow. We, uh, we did it exactly the same size that, you know, the, the sizes that are mentioned in the Bible. Right. Plus, uh, we have used uh, gopher wood. Which is acacia wood. That the wood. That Tell me about acacia wood. Yes. Now, I, I taught on the tabernacle and mentioned this, yes. but you said something else. I don't know if I mentioned. Tell us yes. about what that wood does and doesn't yes. do. Basically, this uh, is the wood. The, this is the wood the furniture was yes. made with in the tabernacle. The acacia wood. Tell yes. us about yes. that. Yes, the acacia wood is the only wood that the termite gonna, cannot go through it. Amazingly, that really that's that really exactly. is amazing. And you can see the wood when we open it. Yeah, we saw that just it, now. You yeah, you just saw that. Yeah. And uh, after that, we have imported uh, a stone from Sinai. Now look at this. This comes from Mount Sinai. Exactly. To make it, you know, more authentic. <laughs> Boy. Because, you know, the, the, the two tablets would have been would from Would have that, made from the mountain. Yeah, from, from the, the mountain. mountain. Si Sinai. Right. Um, and, of course, the, uh, the staff of Aaron. Look how heavy. Moses had to be strong because he carried tablets of stone down. These are heavy. They're very heavy. I mean, you know, I'm not the strongest guy in, in the room. <laughs> I'm probably the weakest guy in the room. But if you lift those, I can't hardly lift those with both hands. Look at that. Look at that. And then they're breakable. Like when Moses came down and broke them, exactly. this type of stone, I can tell, if you, if you hit it too hard, you could actually break this, right? They will. And we will break them at some point. You will. Just, yes. just creating it. Just creating it. Right. To, uh, and this is the rod. Y'all be careful. I'm going to turn this into a snake and come after you. Be careful. <laughs> So there's a rod. This is, this is coming also from the almond tree. This and is from an almond tree? Yes. This is because Aaron's rod was an almond because it blossomed. Exactly. Look at this. That has a great, doesn't have a, you know, sometimes cedar smells. That doesn't have a smell to it, but that is neat. So he had an almond rod. you got, and this kind of wood you said is also what? This is the gopher wood. That's the, the gopher acacia. wood as well, the, the acacia yes, tree. The acacia, the acacia and tree. This is, of course, we are overlaying it with 24 karat gold. I saw that right it there. It is not paint. It is not the color of gold. And it's not 23 and a half karat. It's 24, 24. karat. Now, here's a question, because I know that this is going to our, our YouTube channel. Yes. Are you going to sell this to someone? Yes. Oh, you are? Yeah. So, in other words, you're not just building it for, to sit here. Yes. So, if somebody wanted to purchase this, and I'm, I'm not even going to ask you a price because you probably don't even know we, a you price. Know, we at this estimated point. the price to be $80,000. Really? But the gold that we brought in order to sell it at that price only covered the one and a half angel. Wow. So we're, we're, you know, we're waiting for the second batch of gold to cover the rest of it, as yeah. it was mentioned in the Bible. So and we're again, estimating the selling price approximately between one hundred and twenty dollars to one hundred 
and fifty thousand dollars really delivered anywhere in the world. because it's going to be covered completely with the 24 completely karat gold with 24 karat gold wow and if you put your finger on the gold it will come up here even now even now yes yeah oh i see what you're saying Do, are you going to have to coat it with something to yes. keep it yes. okay see that if you on my oh, finger oh look at that this is the gold look at that wow well this is amazing and how old is the shop because i always like to share with people yes. information they ask questions how old is the shop here in bethlehem my father took over in 1975. okay so that's when did 45. he meet paul crouch he was very good friends with paul uh, probably before i was born wow which is <laughs> 78. 78. Yes, 1978. well i can remember all my life of coming to the Holy Land. Yes. Let me say that, not all my life. Yes. And I can remember Nikki would come, he'd always have the same suit on. Yes, I know. And he was always, my doctor, my doctor, <laughs> my brother doctor. buried my doctor. You know, he called me the doctor, you <laughs> yes, know. Yes, I do. And uh, we really miss him. We, we miss just, seeing him, but you've yes. done a great job of taking over. And uh, is all of the olive wood from Bethlehem, yes. most of it? All of it. All of it. Anything made out of all of it is from Bethlehem. Can I ask you something? Are yes. there are there this, just this many talented people here, or are there just certain artists that really do most of this? Because these faces, I mean, this is like a, this is a piece of art. It is. Literally a piece it of is. art. You know, the olive the olive wood industry is the uh, the oldest in in Bethlehem, and it's like kind of families are working in the olive wood. Okay, families. So, and and you know with the new machinery that is, is coming up with the new small tools that they're using, uh, okay. they're doing more detailing. Uh, there are probably five or six um, I would call artistic very factories, artistic factories in right. Bethlehem, and they're doing all of the beautiful pieces, uh, most of them. Wow. Uh, and the 125, the rest of them, they're doing you know the grade uh, B and C from the olive wood that you're, so, you're seeing. So really, so people will know this is a lesson. In olive wood, there's different grades of wood, yes. different quality woods, but there's also different cuts. Like some of these pieces may be cut on a machine, yes, which is a little less expensive than an artist by hand cutting it piece by piece. Because there are, there are, there are pieces here that are so detailed that a machine can't do that. Mm -hmm. And an um, artist must sit there by hand. I, you had a guy back here one day that yes. just blew my mind. Yes. I'm, I'm just like, this is, this is a gift from the Lord. How you're doing this? Yeah. Look, can I can I show him one thing? Look at the face of Jesus here. Look at the detail. And one thing I noticed, and I, and I love olive wood, but one thing I noticed is they cut the grain. See, the grain is not going this way. The grain is going with the face this way. So when they, when the artist begins to cut, he follows the grain pattern. Yeah, this is basically, uh, this is the trunk. This is one piece of wood. Oh, it's one piece. It's not two pieces. Oh. So this is carved. This, wow, this is look the way at of that. The grain that is going through. Right, gotcha, gotcha. And Look at that. And these trees, a lot of them are very old. Very old. So this is not cutting off the tree. This is basically the wood from pruning the trees. Oh, okay. Yes. So in other words, you, if you leave the root, the tree grows back. Even exactly. in Scripture, it tells exactly. you that. Exactly. So right. the olive trees Man. are the trees that can, can, can we show? Can we just show some pieces here? Because I'm into, I'm into a lot of art and things like that. But look at this. Now, I have one of these. I got this from your dad years ago. Yes. This is the temple made out of olive wood. That's right. And that's one of my favorite pieces. I have it on display. But your nativity scenes, because this is Bethlehem, the place of the nativity. You're yes. part of the church of the nativity, yes, by the I way, am. where Christ was yes. born. And we just, we'd love that fact about you and the families here. But look at this. This is just, look at this, piece together, glued together piece by piece. All these are hand cut, hand carved. This is for example, and this is made by the Zakaria family. Now he's the one that's the most famous one he's, in the shop here, wouldn't yes, he? Yes, exactly. Definitely and here in the shop. This is by Tweme, is another uh, young artist. He's also amazing. If you look at the detailing, you will be amazed. Now, uh, now this let me. This by our factory. Now let me ask you this. This one is by our factory. That's your factory. Okay, let me ask you this. This is a tree, perhaps. Is that right? This is, this is yes. a, a part this of a tree. This is actually the, uh, the... Let me get over here where you can get on the yes. speaker here. Okay. This is the root of the tree. Gotcha. Okay. This is the root of the tree. And these trees, the large ones, these were trees that were removed. Like homes, buildings. Exactly. Uh, and they tried yeah. to replant them somewhere else and did right. not... Gotcha. Okay. That's the only uh, time 
we use these large trees. In other words, they only use these trees. They don't cut the trees down just to cut them down. If they're building a road, exactly. building a house, Correct. which they're building all over, all, all over, then they have to take these trees out. Then they use the trees for, for this type of thing. It's beautiful. Just like the tree that you saw, the large one. I remember last we, year. Uh, yeah. Actually, it was uh, uh, sold to the United States, M1 Bank. Really? They, you know, they fell in love with it and they took it to display it in one of their banks. Wow. Yes. And, uh, and that was what you had last year when I was here. You almost got it. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I was, I was saying, uh, the, yes. the history, I could teach with this yes. for years. I could put it somewhere. I could talk about, you know, Romans 11. Yes. And, uh, and so I, I'm fascinated by this. Well, thank you so much. We, uh, we're going we're gonna to eat and we have uh, um, our partners are here now. On the